another episode of Embody a Magical Life. Here we are in the woods of Colorado, deep in the woods, up dirt roads, and you'll hear all about where we're at and what we're doing. And we just want to start our podcast with a quick little embodiment practice to really feel the magic. Mmm, yes. So, I invite you to take a deep breath wherever you're at. And today we are going to ask the light to shine down onto our being and to crystallize all of the waters that are in our trillions of cells. So let's our first see that big bright light above us and it's just pouring down through our head, melting down our body, and just activating all of the water in our cells. Yeah, crystallining it, crystalling it, allowing the darkness to just push out of the pores of the cells as the light crystallizes the trillions of cells in your body. Mm. Glistening like crystals, mica, sparkles, sparkles, yes, iridescent, iridescent, gel coming down <coughs> through our crown, all the way down to our toes, seeping every inch of our bodies, activating that crystalline magic in our bodies. Just from this quick little embodiment moment. Let's just take one more deep breath together. Yeah. Ah, and then out of noise of any kind. Welcome to Embody a Magical Life podcast, where you learn how to raise your vibe, explore your magic, and embody your authentic power. I'm Lynn Hicks. I'm Erica Hicks. And we're the mother-daughter duo inspiring transformation through holistic lifestyle and conscious living. We bring water to the conversation because no one else is. We know hydrogen-rich water is the key to longevity and vitality. Life's about flowing, so this is the easiest way to upgrade your health and mindset. High Vibe Water. Join our revolution with the links down below and inspire others to embody a magical life. We'd love to get to know you. Cheers. Hydrate Hydrate your your life life with with us. Back to our journey on embodying a magical life where we're inspiring you to also endeavor in a magical life and start to embody it. And we're going to talk about conquering fear and our journey around that through this camping trip, this activation that we've been on. We're also going to talk about the duality of fear and the opposite of it and to really just tap into more storytelling and to really help you and help us understand that we're always covered and life's got our back. So yeah, mom, why don't you start off with our story here of uh, Vail, Colorado. Oh, yeah. Here we are up 10,000 feet in the deep woods of Vail, Colorado. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And um, we, of course, you know, took our time through some other things yesterday. Got to soak in some sulfur springs and the first campsite we went to that we thought was going to be wonderful couldn't back in our car do the car tent so we had to journey to another hour and a half drive 20 minutes of it at least which was uphill a scary road um that was (laughs) just endless potholes on potholes i was a little scared of my car we were on the edge we're on the blm land like forest road it was intense jump jingle jingle yeah and it was um like the fear each time we had gone i was afraid that we weren't gonna get a good spot or find a place or it's the fourth of july 
And this time I felt really good and we were visualizing this incredible spot and yeah. these people and you know, it's a long way up a dirt road at three miles an hour. Three miles an hour, <laughs> literally. And so we finally find it and get to the end. On our way, when we got a little scared, the sun came out. We oh, asked yeah. for a sign. Yes, for a sign. And I'm like, okay, the sun's out. We're all right. Because it was a long road, and I kind of was like, and kept being like, no, let's keep going. We're almost there. there. We're almost there. And the sun was shining, even though it was cloudy. Yeah. We, can't, we passed one tent, no other campers, and we finally get here and pull in, and there's no one. And we're deep in the woods. We're like 20 minutes up a hill that is single highway. Single road. road. Yeah. And uh, we did pretty well kind of getting it together and unpacking and being like, okay, okay. But underneath this fear of bears and... Yeah, we're all alone. We're alone. No one's here. No one's in the thing. And uh, really tapped us into some fear. Some, some fear. survival fear that we had. Yeah, so we went through, you know, trot, we danced, we danced out, mm -hmm. we jumped, she made a fire, screamed. had some dinner. Yeah, and kind of were like, okay, we made it up here, we're safe. We had our bear stuff in case a bear came. And um, we have some great neighbors, which we're we'll getting to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> And then we went into our tent, we closed everything up, put all our food. It was like 9.40 at night, you know, the sky was still bright a little bit. We had enough sunlight to do everything. And yeah, and then I was like, all right, we're, it's time to just go to bed. <laughs> yeah. It's time. So when we finally climbed in bed, we got hit an anxiety wall of things. I was a little better than you. I was like, we're safe. I was sending out love energy all around us, building a golden cube. No bears, no mountain lions, no creepy people. Yeah. All the scary movies I've ever seen came upon me. Well, and this is where, yeah, we conquer fear because our minds are just so creative in the dark space that it can be in. And we discuss that it's our survival instinct. That's why we have these negative scary patterns, patterns. Yeah. like i thought a bear was gonna come and like <laughs> rip off our tent on top of my roof or like we had an air horn for any animals in the tent and it's awesome I'm off, we're on a rooftop tent so we're off the ground yeah then i was envisioning like mountain lions <laughs> swarming the car and they weren't going to be scared of the horn like any animal is going to be scared of the horn. Oh my god, and as an empath, I could feel it in our heart, my heart, Erica's panic, oh. and every time I calm myself down, then no, another wave would come in. I had and another bad. wave and another wave, and I just kept sending out energy. And this was probably 45 minutes. It was at least. We, I was like, I don't even know if I'm able to sleep. I'm just like sitting here, <laughs> and then I was. I was mad at myself and like, man, we're so far away. We should have turned around because there were some camping spots that we saw on the way up, but they weren't, they weren't good enough. No, we were looking for this they magical yeah, like group they camping flat. experience of safety. So then I went through like a forgiving myself practice because I was like, I should have followed my intuition, told my mom I wasn't comfortable driving this road, <laughs> but it's like, we're all, it's, yeah, it was a whirlwind of, I don't, I was literally shaking yeah. at one point in my skin. Like, I've never been this scared in my life. Like We tried homeopathic, we took uh, gelsinium for anxiety and aconitum for fear while we yeah. were in the tent. It was um, a full body experience of embodiment of fear that I've ever really had. And it was scary. But then at around 10.40, Hey listeners, did you know that we sell Kangen Water Ionizers? We consider it the number one sustainability tool because not only do we get to drink the best hydrogen-rich antioxidant water, we also get to detox our home from all the chemicals and cleaners, get to use some of the seven kinds of water for different health ales, and we save the earth of plastic and toxins. 
Yes, and who doesn't want to help this earth back to homeostasis, just like our bodies? Researchers show now that hydrogen is the number one antioxidant you can add to your life. So what easier way than just changing the type of water you're drinking for you and your family? This water is micro-clustered, so it can actually hydrate you at a cellular level, helping your longevity, your immunity, and your vitality. So if you want to help us spread the awareness of Kang and Water Ionizers, and purchase one today, check the links below and join our team and help us spread the word about healing water. All right, let's get back to the magic. We're laying well, there. mom's laying there, yeah, and you're asking for, my mom's just like been speaking like these beautiful words, I calming saying, me down. Yeah, well, bring us a miracle for Erica. Yeah, I was what will make her feel safe? What would be a good miracle? I had no idea. Yeah, so. I just kept sending out love energy and, you know, we, we were able to watch our mind somewhat. Like I kept I on was pulling too, yeah. us. Yeah, we had to, you had to watch it because it, it was just going and then you'd bring it back and it yeah. was going. And, and then all the- it was pumping <laughs> chemicals into my body too. Like that's how it was shaking. shaking. Yeah. It's crazy. And then Your out of mind. nowhere, I hear and see lights. So we're wondering, is the fire okay? And suddenly there's these lights and there's these vehicles. Yes. And it's like 11 at night. So we're in the deep woods, 11 at night, serious vehicles pull in. We're like, oh. what's going on? Yeah, we're two girls in the woods. We're like peeping out of the tent <laughs> oh, trying to see. see. But not let them see that we're seeing them. Oh my gosh. Because we were scared. And there it was, the miracle. There was the miracle. And it was these two families that we didn't meet till this morning. And they are in trucks with campers, with trailers, trailers, yes, on the trailer. And they made it up this road that a lot of Erica's anxiety was about going down the road. I did have that too. Like, how are we gonna get back down? My car's older. Ooh, diggity. <laughs> And here are two trucks. <laughs> and they were in the dark drove. If they only, when they go down and see what edge of life they were on. Oh, wow. <clears throat> oh my God. And they were committed. They could not turn around because they're huge. And they said they were shaking their, their top heavy trailers were like rocking. And we thought, wow, what we were doing was scary. And I felt the minute they pulled in and... Literally, I fell right asleep almost. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my God, there's some... Our human species is here. here. And that was our miracle. We Thank got you, camping miracle. friends at 11 at night in People the middle the of the anxiety. woods. 10,000 feet seriously in the woods. Seriously Come in the woods. two families that are rowdy. I was like, we're safe, no animals. They no have dogs. Animals. Yeah. You know, they had trucks, they probably have everything there. And that's what we kept saying. We just had to make it through the day to the morning. Just make it to the morning. And then and once they came, it just settled us down to see our own and to know we weren't alone. And this place is incredibly yeah, the beautiful morning. where we are. Oh my gosh. And uh, it was all a mind story. Well, and it comes to duality, so it was like for me after, and then we went on a, after like experiencing all that is like, well, if I can fear and my mind can create a story and so much fear that my body is shaking, like how can I use that same energy into a positive way of like experiencing my body into imagining what I want to happen yeah. instead of this crazy fear so it's like we need the duality of the emotions because if I wasn't that mm. fearful and that like open or that you know been able to feel it fear that way now I'm gonna be able to feel feel like love and success and all the imaginations that I want to feel in my um, future I can transform that so it's like we need the fear to show us the opposite of where we can go the wholeness of it all and that I just haven't felt fear like that in a very very long time no anxiety. you said it was the most afraid you ever were I think so and I think the thing is in that intensity of physical like safety fear 
you just have to throw into trust. I just kept safe. going. Yeah, I believe that I'm safe. Yeah. I was sending energy into the ground, telling mycelium to keep us safe. Like we, that you could only fall back on faith, and you that's could, what the survival. That you were okay, yeah. and that everything would work out. You know. And it was amazing because I'm like, well, if that's what you believe, you better sink it in now. And I kept on bringing it into my body, and yeah. then boom, came the people. Yeah, and, uh, and we've just had the best time since then. And yeah, sleep. It's like that's the embodied magical life. Like we asked for the miracle in a cave. We and we were able to sleep, and it was like the best night's sleep ever. It was cold. Once they were here, you know, we were able to relax and calm our minds. So it's our minds that are there for our survival, are there to protect us. They're beautiful things. We just have to direct it in such a magical way. Yeah. And to know the faith. Direct it to faith as well. And yeah, it was like I had to keep doing it and keep doing it. And sometimes that's what it takes. Like every practice I could think of. Mm -hmm. And boom, there it was, the people. And then there was this like giddy joy inside me. I'm like, oh, yay, there's some bad boys around with some big jeeps. Yep, <coughs> we're the nicest family ever, and we had the nicest day, and our journey is just about over. But we've really activated a magical life. I mean, it can be anywhere at any time. So yeah. just call it in, claim it. We are claiming it here and now. Fourth of July, Independence Day, freedom. Freedom. We walked through the woods. Our we shook out life. those chemicals in our bodies. We shook out all that survival. We have incredible Ancestral. water going yeah. down everywhere. We submerged. We just really cleansed knowing like hey the mind can do what it does but in, in reality you're safe you're safe and the world's here to help you life's become. got you life's, life's got, got you, you. we're gonna write children's books so stay tuned <laughs> we, may. Oh, we might it was such a journey and yeah and i'd yeah. say that's a great ending life has you life's got you so remember that you're embodying a magical life and life's got you no matter what and fear just kind of takes you to your edge of expansion and yes. faith, and faith is the antidote, antidote. There it is. And really get down to that. So, so keep following our journey. Give us a like, subscribe, leave a comment, share it with any of your friends or family who are looking some inspiration and trying to get onto the other side of fear and moving through fear. Or anyone who really wants to embody a magical life, we'd love the love and the support. And we're so grateful that you're here. And thanks for joining. The episode isn't quite over yet, listeners. Or YouTubers. If you haven't given us a like, subscribed, left us a review, or commented on any platform, we would really appreciate you showing us some love here at the Magical Holistic Healing Arts. And remember, Kangen Water and our grab bag for the podcast. Thanks so much for listening.